Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist From Off The Cuff. Today we have a really cool review for you guys from the brand Rios 1931. And essentially they are a high quality watch strap uh, manufacturer out of Germany. Now, um, I'm going to highlight three different uh, straps from them. It's basically a selection of their water resistant synthetic straps. Um, honestly, the strap from my Damasco DS30 is kind of the strap that brought me here. Um, if you guys recall my full review of the DS30, uh, basically it had a very similar strap that you're going to see on that baby alpinist, essentially, which was really cool. And I was actually, uh, Damasco stopped carrying that strap and, and it kind of led me to look around to find out more about where I could find um, a similar strap because I liked it so much. Um, and looking around, I actually was able to kind of figure out that this brand Rios out of Germany actually made some really interesting straps. Um, unfortunately, they don't have like a lot of names or ways to differentiate. Um, you know, it's just, no, it's activity, synthetic, dynamic, water resistant, $37. Or activity, synthetic, dynamic, water resistant, $39. or Albatross water resistant synthetic for IWC, $45. So um, in that order, <laughs> by the way. So unfortunately these don't have a lot of interesting names or anything like that, but uh, yeah, they come in relatively cheap, like I said, under 50 bucks, um, and they really are pretty cool, and they are water resistant straps and kind of give you a different option um, for just your kind of everyday type watches. And I figured I'd use these kind of a mixture of kind of field, flight, and uh, everyday mixture to use as an example for you guys. So you could kind of see how they wear, um, some of the details, how they perform. I have, I, I'm not in touch with Rios 1931 or any of their dealers. Um, I purchased these kind of on my own and I uh, was so interested and in kind of this this particular lineup and this trio um, when kind of deciding what type of strap I wanted to use um, for this similar kind of use case, um, I figured I'd share with you guys my findings. So with that said, let's zoom the camera out, get these pieces in hand and take a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with this guy right here um, that kind of started it off. Now, it was this particular style. Um, it was very similar to the one that I got on my Damasco DS30. And um, yeah, I really dig it. Uh, again, this is just really activity, synthetic, dynamic, water resistant, $37 about. Um, it comes in 24, 22, 20, and 18 millimeter widths. It pretty much uh, is made out of this high tech dynamic material and the strap length is 114 um, and 82 millimeters. So um, basically you get the long strap and then which is 114 and then you get 82. It has a relatively nice uh, fully polished buckle there. It says Rios. Um, and then on the back side you are uh, getting of course this nice oh, and look it even lets you know what the taper comes down to so 16 on that end 18 on this end you know with a 20 millimeter medium length um, and then water resistant so very cool uh, very, really well finished guys look at the details on this the stitching everything is nice and tidy sealed edges really beautifully done um, and we'll go ahead and quickly just kind of sneak this on the wrist. These aren't super long and obviously I have somewhat large wrists so um, there's not going to be a lot of tail kind of left behind at my seven and a quarter inch wrist and obviously this also is kind of a, a watch with a shorter lug to lug as well as a, a slightly larger body so it's going to take up a lot um, but you can see dude I love this thing I love that it, we're, we're getting texture there right and of course with a dial like this with all these textures it's really nice to have a strap with some texture as well so I really dig this one this is kind of what started me down the path and while I was looking around um, kind of within this realm I thought, hey, well, what are these other waterproof straps that they have? So here we go with the Dress KX. 
Um, and then this is on their activity synthetic dynamic water assistant, roughly $39. Again, uh, pretty similar in terms of widths, 24, 22, 20, and 18 millimeter widths. This one, the, the material is a high tech material called Nitec with, um, caoutchouc lining so you're going to get the nice uh, rubber lining here as you can see a little different than here this is more of like a leather back here we're getting the rubber backed lining uh, which is quite nice and and i'm sure adds to that same length in terms of the 114 millimeters and then the um the 82 millimeters um, here you're not going to see the full taper um, it's just printed at 20 millimeters and water resistant it also has an unsigned uh, clasp this time uh, also in a fully polished look but uh this one's pretty nice i like it uh you know it almost has kind of a sailcloth-esque material to it um really quite nice again you get really nice well-defined um stitching there uh and then also the finishing is really quite impeccable and guys again these these aren't super expensive so that was i was digging that you know you, you get the, that german quality um but you're not paying some big markup because uh nobody's renaming these and you you see that they basically make these straps for a lot of oems um and it's kind of cool that you can kind of get them at a discount price if you just kind of purchase directly so um, not necessarily from them directly but just you know uh, under the brand Rios uh, versus whatever brand that they're gonna go and I'm gonna try to put these on a little bit looser so that's probably why it's it's looking kind of small there on the wrist but take a look I mean this is such a versatile watch already um, and then you put it on a strap like this and honestly, I feel like it just gives it a whole new personality um, Very nice almost like a tactical vibe to it Especially with this kind of again that high-tech material in terms of the finishing. I love that kind of sheer satin Hue and glow as it captures light on the wrist really nice um and again quite you know it just does the job i will say that kind of my one worry um is that on the inside you can see the holes there they don't seem necessarily sealed uh, i haven't had any problems with them but of course i have so many watches they don't really get into the hard use um that it might for you right like this might be your everyday um, strap. So then the last one is the Albatross. This one has a name. Water resistant synthetic for IWC. $45. Um, so again, you can see within the holes, it seems like there's a little bit of, I guess, just daylight that goes through there that I'm not sure if that's the innards of the strap shining through. You can see this is also quite thick in comparison. Um, if you are kind of cross shopping these, um, the one for IWC is very, very thick in comparison to this one here. As you can see, quite thin. Um, when you look at it, I mean, it's not super thin, but it just in comparison, it has more of a rounded feel here versus here you're getting more of a solid edge. Still very nicely finished. And then on the back, here you're getting something that's, you know, more like the leather backing here, 20 millimeters. You get the nice keepers, fully polished um, uh, buckle there, very nice. But yeah, ultimately this is going to be a little bit thicker and more heavy duty. Um, and also the it, this doesn't have an availability for a 24 millimeter. It just goes 22, 20, 18 um, in terms of the widths there. And then this, of course, is again that high that high tech material, Nitec. So uh, it's the same material here um, that you're going to see, same pattern and everything. Just a, kind of a different take in terms of the uh, the the design and the execution on it. And you can see it just gives it this beefy aspect. I mean, so you get this watch, right? It's this great flight watch, um, and yeah, you put it on this strap, it definitely has those kind of IWC vibes. Um, and it just gives it a really fun kind of tactical, tactical, 
um, aesthetic that I really dig. And the way that it plays with the light is one of the things I really like is because uh, you're going to get some different color transition. It's not just black. You're getting a different kind of gradation as the light rolls and plays. Uh, which gives you a little bit more visual interest. Also, you're getting a little bit of a different variation in terms of the stitching. So if you are cross-shopping these two, also the holes, you can see are much smaller here, much larger here. That's that comes down to also kind of the buckle tang there. Um, we have the wider finger versus the skinnier finger. But yeah, this thing is sweet. I'm really digging really all three of these, but let me know what you guys think. Which one's your favorite? And it might be just you telling me because these don't have great naming conventions um, out of the box. Maybe it'll be you guys just telling me uh, which one you prefer based off of the watch. Um, you go know the Dress KX. You guys know the Baby Alpinist. This one is a uh, JDM presage model it was actually pre-presage for a little bit then they actually changed it and made it into the presage line um, and actually printed presage on there this is right before they did that um, so relatively hard to find these days this one was actually part of you know within that kind of heyday of like super affordable seikos um I forget even how much I paid for this one. I just know that now it's really not worth it when you see them because they're you, you find them very much marked up. But um, I did want to kind of show these to cover that kind of field, um, everyday sports, um, and then flight kind of combination and a very similar kind of design language because all of these straps have a very similar design language. Um, also, of course, these Seikos are all Japanese, but the straps are all German. thought that's kind of a fun mix uh, there as well. But yeah, let me know which one you guys like. Do you guys dig this kind of textured rubber? Um, I mean, the thing I like about this is it gives you a real uh, different option and something that feels just more modern compared to something like a Tropic rubber. That's going to give you that kind of basket weave uh, texture here. You're not getting that. You're going to get kind of that diamond pattern. Um, but I think it's a really cool look. I mean, I don't know if I love it for this watch in particular more than I love um, the Tropic because I think it kind of ties into the tropical kind of faded dial. Um, but I think that this is just a really versatile strap. I mean, the strap alone, uh, not kind of considering the pairing, I really probably like this strap the best for me. Um, I think it could probably be paired better or, uh, you know, with a different type of watch like uh, the DS30 uh, from Damasco. Um, but yeah, I dig that. And then here kind of on the everyday style, something a little bit more flexible. It could be on the tactical end. It could be kind of a field watch strap, but it also could be something flight oriented or just feeling something that just adds a touch of kind of modern flair as well. Um, I dig that about this one here. And then also, of course, you do get the nice rubber backed uh, lining so then that really gives you that feeling of this is made to be super versatile and also great for water sports um, and then here for the IWC um, style model the albatross I dig this one of course very clean more aviation lines and themes in terms of that stitching um, still very basic in terms of the buckle but this thing's clean I, I, I dig it I mean it's a little bit thick so um, the nice thing is this is kind of a thicker watch. If you have a thinner watch, you probably won't love this for it, this particular strap. You don't want to make, you know, which is funny because uh, the IWC Pilot watches are relatively thin. Um, but maybe if you have like a larger chronograph or something that's going to be a little bit thicker, something like this would really give you that stability on wrist because it's going to hold it in place really, really nicely. So guys, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, which one was kind of your favorite um, in terms of the strap themselves or maybe your favorite pairing? Hey, even let me know which one was your favorite watch in terms of kind of a black dial everyday watch um, and and how versatile they could be uh, when you put it on a black strap and especially one that is also waterproof so you're getting kind of 
uh, rugged good looks, but you're also getting some rugged street cred because these are going to be able to uh, be, you know, they're, they're going to be fine against the elements from that standpoint. So guys, yeah, let me know if you liked the video. Please do hit like. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe for more content just like this. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see how you guys skew in terms of, hey, there's three different uh, waterproof straps, all relatively close around the same price within, you know, five to ten dollars of each other. Um, they're all under 50 bucks um, and they're all, you know, pretty reputably made for, uh, out of Germany. So, yeah, let me know what, what would be your pick. Um, I'm really curious. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks.